This week, uh, the Neurospace Systems Research Institute was formally launched by the University of KwaZulu-Natal. ASRI is dedicated to the commercialization of advanced aerospace technologies. And uh, the, the launch week was intended to inform the community, the university community and the wider community about our activities. Uh, so we started off on Monday with a public lecture that was about the history of the group and uh, the kind of work that we do in launching hybrid rockets, as well as in our development work with liquid rocket systems. We have aims, three formal aims. One is to become a global center of excellence in aerospace propulsion, to support South Africa's space engineering economy, and to develop people. We like to say in ASRI, we build rockets, and we build rocket scientists. Because without the people, we can do nothing. Today was the second event in the ASRI Launch Week festivities. It was a research seminar that gave our students and engineers uh, the chance to speak to the rest of the university community and some external stakeholders about what they do. Um, and really the students are the engine of what ASRI does and, and, and a number of them have become uh, engineers. So um, we've seen a development in their abilities from undergrad days through postgraduate program and now on as, as engineers. And everyone who was presenting today has played a key part in, in what we do as ASRI um, across a, a range of disciplines. Um, and, and like I said, it's, it's really because we have the incredible human capital that we have. Um, students with, with amazing abilities, with, with phenomenal intellect, that we're able to achieve the, the quite remarkable technical outcomes that we do achieve. My academic journey uh, started off here at the University of KwaZulu-Natal where I completed my BSc uh, in Mechanical Engineering. I then went on to do a Master's degree with the um, Aerospace Systems Research Group which is a forerunner of uh, the Aerospace Systems Research Institute where I completed my Master's degree uh, which was mainly focused on job propellants and uh, completed my MSc and uh, I'm now currently employed by the Aerospace Systems Research Institute, which is the only uh, aerospace institute within the country. The formal event was held to mark the launch of, of ASRI with a gala dinner and we were very honoured to have um, important dignitaries from across the aerospace field in South Africa including the executive of the university, uh, the chairman of the board of the South African National Space Agency as well as the CEO and of course our uh, partners in the government, the Department of Science and Innovation who fund our programme including the Talent Pipeline program, which develops our young engineers. So ladies and gentlemen, I'm very excited to be with you tonight, see some new faces who are part of this network of ensuring that we become successful in what we want to do for, for the continent, not only for the country. It's one thing to be here today, but it's a different game, a ball game altogether. A few years ago, when we only started with the um, Aerospace Research Group, ASREC, and having to actually do all the work to get us to this point, and this really took a lot of support from uh, different people in the university, the executive, the council, the academics, and also our partners, uh, Department of Science and Innovation. This is another um, significant milestone towards realizing our vision of building space infrastructure, space capabilities for the country, but most importantly for South Africa, 
to build its own indigenous launch capability to ensure that um, the country and the rest of the continent have access to space. And therefore, we are very excited today and very proud of what UKZN has done with the support of government, the Department of Science and Innovation, as well as the role that the South African National Space Agency plays in coordinating all space-related activities. So it is indeed um, um, a, a, a huge achievement for the country. It's very important for ASRID also to reach beyond the sciences and to involve other disciplines in the university. So for example, we uh, involved the Department of Visual Arts from the University of KwaZulu-Natal in a t-shirt design competition. And, the, and the, the challenge there was to incorporate aspects of rocketry into an African-themed t-shirt. And that was very, very successful. And we have four new designs which have now been printed onto shirts and uh, we make those t-shirts available to the public. So that was really successful and a good way to expand ASRI's activities beyond the boundaries of engineering. Originally, when I started designing for the contest, I just started with uh, five basic very designs. And the strongest design that they chose in the end was a lion with a rocket. We live in Africa. This is our land. So let's demonstrate our strength, our tenacity, do these like great animals. The big five minus two, but yes, that was the basic idea behind the design. So one of the most important things that ASRI does is, uh, is, is do STEM campaigns, which are science, technology, engineering and mathematics, for the wider community beyond the university. Uh, on Friday, we hosted a, an event for uh, 200 school pupils from local schools in Durban, and we gave them a lecture on rockets. We explained how the machines work, what's involved in their engineering, and then we also ran a series of fun activities, building stomp rockets and glider competitions. Uh, and we're very happy to do that kind of activity to promote, not just to promote the UKZN brand, but also to bring news of this new institute to the wider community. A big part of what ASRI does is to actually show um, people of the country, not just students, that we can do things that first world countries are doing. And we can do it sometimes better because we're restricted economically. You know, it forces us to become innovative. And I think that's what we want to do as ASRI, to show these students in high school and in university that you can do anything as long as you really have a passion for it. And yeah, you can go anywhere. So, ASRI is really focused on nurturing the next generation. ASRI has a very focused mission. Our aim is to develop a commercial space launch capability for South Africa. And that's a long journey to undertake, but we are somewhere down the road. Our, our hopes for the future are to have a commercial launch vehicle, a small satellite launch vehicle on the pad to fly for the first time within the next four years. And that's an ambitious aim, but uh, part of that process is the engine development program, which we are busy with at the moment. And uh, if all goes well, we hope to, to get that first prototype CLV launch uh, by about 2028.